Look, and then six out of three. Please then. No, for, for the rest. Thank you. So, um, oh, this is actually worth pointing out. If you look at the implant itself, it has an internal hex connection. Mm -hmm. That's how this is going to snap. It just locks into place. This has, and you can feel it as you're um, inserting the impression post. Then the screw just goes on top. Each pack, so when you buy impression posts, each pack comes with the the post, mm -hmm. the screw, and the cap that you ultimately put on top. So, um, let's use the hex driver. I'm sure this is all pretty similar to what you guys have seen before. You just hand tighten it down with the hex driver. Should you x-ray to make sure it's seated all the way? Yep, you can. Yeah, so some do. I mean, usually you can feel it mm -hmm. kind of catch and then drop almost. But yeah, absolutely. The, the x-rays yeah. are never a bad thing. And then the cap just snaps on top. There we go. And you feel that kind of lock into place too. It has a rotational fit to it. It's locked into place. You and that comes out with the impression. And then the cap stays in the impression. impression. And then that's what you send off to the lab. Okay. Along with the uh, you know the impression post and the screw as well. Sure. So that's impression taken. Now are they um, pretty simple. Stock abutments? Can you do custom we abutments? A, we, we have a ton of different. It, we, we have a wide range. We have um, stock abutments, which you know, straight as stomach, universal. Um, universal mm -hmm. is one that hasn't been prepped. The stock does have a margin in it. Okay. Um, UCLA abutments, which are custom abutments. We have zirconia abutments. You do have zirconias. Okay. We do. We actually have a. a a lab um, that's owned by Henry Shine as well in Colorado. It's mm -hmm. called CMC. It's Custom Building Center, I think is what it stands for. And they actually now take a, uh, a CAD CAM titanium abutment mm -hmm. from CAMLOG and they mill a custom zirconia abutment on top. It's okay. really, really pretty cool. And then could they um, send that to our lab? <clears throat> They could, as long as, long as your, your lab would actually request that lab, that milling center. It's actually not a lab, it's a milling center. Yeah. So they mill this out and then they sign. I don't know if I have one with me, actually, I don't. Um, but uh, yeah, they would just request, they send that, and then they would come to your lab and they give it to you. So Yeah, I mean, yeah. so there, there's a couple of different theories on, on how- Or do you just leave it like that and put a crown over that? This right here? Yeah. You can. I mean, you, you could also prep it. I like the customs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you said your lab could make a custom? Well, you don't have to use that lab. I just use that lab as an example because they have a zirconia. Do they guarantee? Because I know there's other labs that are out there that make these custom abutments. Tell me which one you're guarantee. referring to. Uh, you know I forget the name of it because the first time they gave me a, like, a lifetime guarantee that if anything happens to that abutment, they'll replace the abutment plus the crown that's on there. Um, I'm guessing you're talking about an Atlantis abutment? Yes, I mean. yeah. Um So... Here, here's here's kind of the, the deal with Atlantis. Atlantis is owned by Astrotech, which is an implant.